Hi, my name is Mark Dewan, and uh, I am here to tell you a little bit about my Zig story. And uh, about 25 years ago, I was a recovering addict. I was a, a heroin addict. I'd just gotten off drugs and alcohol and uh, come off the streets. And it was in the 1980s. And if you remember back then, the economy was pretty bad and uh, times were not very good. And I managed to get off the drugs, off the alcohol, and found kind of a menial job. And uh, unfortunately, this company was going to move out of town. And uh, I knew I was going to lose my job. And I was thinking, wow, you know, here I've you know, come so far, I'm straightening out my life, I'm trying to do something right for a change, and now the rug's getting pulled out from under me again. And back then I thought life was happening to me. I didn't realize that uh, you know, I had more control than that. So uh, somebody gave me some Zig Ziglar tapes, and it wasn't really a full series, but it was just a few different tapes. And uh, man, from the time I popped it in and uh, heard his uh, powerful voice from uh, Yazoo, Mississippi, or wherever it is, uh, I thought, wow, okay, this guy's different. And uh, you know, he told a little bit about his, his father had died. Well, my mother had died when I was 10. And uh, he had, had trouble in school. Well, I was terrible at school. And yet he was successful. And he seemed happy. And he seemed to know what he was talking about. And then he said things like, um, within every person are the seeds of greatness. Well, you know, that, that's far different from what I heard. Growing up, I heard, you're a loser, you'll never amount to anything, um, you know, and you're stupid. And so when I heard there are seeds of greatness in everyone, I thought, wow, that's, that's fascinating. And then he said something that really kicked in with me, and that was, you are who you are. You are where you are because of what's gone into your mind. You can change who you are. You can change where you are by changing what goes into your mind. And I'm thinking, wow, this guy has something special. And he said, focus on the positive. I'd never done that before. And so I started doing that. And uh, as it turned out, uh, instead of getting laid off and being the ninth grade dropout, ex-drug addict and getting no job, I ended up getting a better job. And uh, I started following his goal setting uh, process. He has a little process for, for goal setting. And, and I thought, wow, that, that's amazing. I never heard of this goal setting thing. It, you just pick what you want, you figure out the obstacles, you figure out you know, solutions around things. And so I started following that. And I became more successful and uh, moved up the ladder in, in one company, was there for 10 years and got recruited away to another company. I've been here 12 years and, uh, and have moved up and progressively done well. But more importantly than that, I, I live, I'm debt free today. Uh, I own my home, I own my vehicles. Uh, I've been married for 24 years. I have four awesome sons. And uh, you know, now I'm at this point in my life where I'm looking at next steps. I'm looking at, you know, hey, what, what's there for me next? And uh, people tell me I'm a good speaker and, and I enjoy speaking. So I think I'm gonna start sharing my story with other people as Zig had done such a fantastic job uh, doing that. And I think that's where I can maybe have the most impact next. So uh, what I wanted to set, talk about is the new book, Born to Win, uh, that's coming out. And uh, I'm excited about this because this comes at a perfect time. As I'm reevaluating uh, what's next for me, what can I do to contribute more? I can go through this process. And what I love about Zig's philosophy, what I love about his method of teaching, it's easy to understand. The, the way he says things uh, makes you remember it. Again, like the statement, you know, you are who you are, you are where you are because of what goes into your mind. You can change that by changing what goes into your mind. I mean, phenomenal. So I uh, am looking at going through the book in more detail. And I love the outline of it that you, know, you need to plan, you need to prepare, and you need to expect success. And uh, I don't know, I, I am always grateful to the Ziegler family. I'm eternally grateful to uh, Zig Ziegler for changing my life because I really don't know what would have happened to me. Uh, another statistic, I suppose. So um, I just want to say I'm very grateful and thank you for uh, promoting Zig Ziglar. Uh, you know, I'm going to jump on that bandwagon because it's been phenomenal for me. And I've studied a lot of teachers. So uh, I hope this uh, is inspiring to you and I hope that you will check out this new book and make some changes in your own life and move to the next level. Thanks for listening.